Hey, what's up, Donkey Kong and Monkey Paws? Today, we're going to take a look at this thing. It is called Job Braver or Job Labor. And this is very specifically the Koban armor set, which is a police station that turns into this dog canine thing um, that also combines with this guy far out. And uh, so we're going to we're going to figure that out. We're going to dive into it. And then later we're going to see if we can combine Prowl uh, with that power armor. So let's go. OK, so uh, really quick, we took a look at the box just a second ago. And um, you can see that this is a whole line of stuff. And the gimmick is that there's a little robot dude up there. And then he kind of like fuses with car bits and becomes this kind of Prowl-esque looking dude. And then that dude can kind of get into his armor. And you can see that there's like a mix and match gimmick with different robots in the middle. And there are also other armors. There's like a, there's like a, fire, fi um, a fire station kit as well. But um, anyway, enough of the box. Yay. <laughs> Let me move that to the side. Hold up for a second while I focus on the bots. All right, we are back and we're going to focus on the bots and not the box. Let me move Prowl off to the side, but uh, primarily my goal over here is to somehow combine these two entities. And um, I purchased this line because one, they're a Takara Tomy product and an internet friend of mine, a Japanese dude, and I'm talking to him using a translator. So like there's some stuff lost, lost in translation, but he told me that uh, this, there's compatibility with Transformers. And I think he's talking about the five millimeter port system over here. Uh, like I said, it is a Takara Tomy product, so it does use three millimeter and five millimeter. But these unfortunately don't come off. I would have loved if that, I could have just like popped them off and used them for some like a bigger modulator figure or weaponizer or whatever. Uh, these do pop off, but these are, um, I don't know, those, those are these octagonal um, pegs. But there's a five millimeter there, there's a five up there, and there's one over here as well. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be as useful as the Shinkalion stuff, which I feel like has a little bit more fi uh, five millimeter synchronicity. But um, nonetheless, we will we will endeavor. Hey, I wonder if that's a five millimeter. No, I don't think it is. So he came out of the box uh, like this. And um, yeah, it was just packaged like this. This one I assembled and um, dude, so these are for ages three and up. And I feel like, man, dude, that's, or in Japan, like I feel like it's kind of complex for a three-year-old, but uh, whatever's good. Maybe there are three-year-olds can pull this off. Um, so over here we have the, um, what is it? The canine head. And these all came separate. And this is a visor for the combiner mode. And I believe these are all for like, I don't know. They're part of the canine. They're part of the police station. I haven't really assembled it. And so we're going to kind of do that in real time. Um, I have assembled this guy. And so check this. You hear that? These guys operate off of this kind of like push and click system um, or like a slide mechanism. So this is at the core of this series, this, uh, this job labor, job braver series. I think this is it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And um, there are these little robots. There are these little robot dudes. Huh. And this is what it looks like. And uh, yeah, it comes with stickers. So you can use, you know, different eyes and stuff like that. And uh, I'm just gonna prep the instructions, by the way, so we can look at it later. I'm not going to put the stickers on. I'm not a sticker guy, but uh, he does look kind of dead without them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what you would do. And in preparation to configure him, you kind of tilt the head back. These become legs. And then you can see that this has become the lower half. And then you fold these forward in preparation of connecting. Yeah, like that. Okay. And all of the job labor guys have a little inside dude. Um, and so this is what it came with just separately, just this and these, uh, sets of legs. And from what I understand, um, like the, with the robot inserted, or maybe you don't need the robot. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the, just this by itself, it, it can turn into a, um, it can turn into vehicle alt mode. So let's try that. Am I doing something wrong? Oh no, there we go. 
All right, so cool. So this is it. Nice little compact car. Paint is done well. Everything is done really well. And uh, it does feel like a kid's toy. But at the same time, it feels pretty sophisticated in my opinion. And now I don't know how to... Oh. So maybe... the Okay, you know what? I was trying to figure out, like, how do I undo this? And I'm wondering if this is a key mechanism. Like, if I put this in, will it, like... Oh. Ooh! Okay. I didn't like that thing flying off, but that was kind of a cool gimmick. So you basically push that in, and then you press it forward, and it locks it in place. Then you separate these, and you bring out the feet. I wish these could be attached also as well uh, to Transformers, but... And then from here, you slide the knee peg over it. All right. And so... Now we have uh, Prowl's little buddy. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, he looks like the Prowl guys, you know, the Dotson guys. He has the, the hood in the front, the wings on the side, um, the little panel where the head folds up. I, I swear, it feels very much in line with that family. I mean, you can see the family resemblance very, very clearly. And um, yeah, you know what's a trip? The one thing that I discovered is, check this out. So we got this headpiece that's going to later fit onto him like that when you convert him into super mode. Yeah, I think I got that right. Yeah, there you go. That's what that's what you're going to do later on. But um, get get a load of this. Dude, get the cup out of here, dude. It fits perfectly over his face, and you can see his nose and mouth peeking out. That is so awesome. That's so awesome. I swear, if not for anything, just, just the fact that I got this with the set, uh, is, is I'm pretty stoked about it. So, since we have the this in its bot mode already, why don't we try combining this into um, super mode. Okay. I'm pretty sure these are not used. But, oh wow, this is like a newspaper, dude. Oh my gosh. This is hella stuff. Whoa, well, this, is, this is pretty complicated, but, um, oh, I see. So the lower half of the legs, they convert into this little something. It says it converts into some type of creepy crawly pincher, um, No, it says the tires. It says this goes back up, does this, you fold this in, and I guess the feet are, yo, that's kind of weak, man. I mean, I get it, want, wanting to say that you used all the parts, but it says this is it, dude. It looks like some Sebastian under the sea crab or something. This is not very impressive, but uh, apparently that's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, no, 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 it's not. I'm tripping, dude. It's a back piece. <laughs> I was about to super clown on this, but uh, okay. So now we got this. Let's see how we transform this. Um, it says bring this back up and make sure that it's it's tabbed in there. I think it's. I don't know. I think it's tabbed in there, and then. Close this up. Okay. And then similar to the slide mechanism, we slide in and then push up or push back. Oh, 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 there's there's this. There's this unlocking thing, and I guess you gotta press this up. And then from here we I, I guess that's it. And then you put on the head. And everything snaps in, but is, is that what it's supposed to look like? Yeah, I guess that's it. And then it says, take that little crab thing. 
Um, then it's, I guess these slots over here, it's supposed to go Hmm. Hold up for a second. All right, I had it configured incorrectly. It has to be like this. And then... Does it slide up? Oh, it does. So a big thing about this toy is like insert, slide up, lock. Insert, slide up, lock. That is kind of like the name of the game. Um, I'm not that impressed with the way this is. I, I don't think I'm going to use this. And uh, I don't even know if I'm going to keep keep this toy. I may give it to my nephew or something. Um, and then it says we're going to take the blaster. I, and I forgot to show you the accessories. But I'll show you when we turn them into police station mode and dog mode. But... His blaster is supposed to help him hold the hands together. And this goes back over here. I don't know, man. That just looks, seems like an afterthought. Not necessarily thrilled about how all this looks. Um, and then he has all these, like, he has all these extra bits. And uh, I'm assuming these are for the police station uh, mode. And so this goes on over here. No. Yeah, and it's supposed to kind of like hinge off like that. It's a little weird, man. I mean, it's okay. It's not that bad. Then over here, we have the dog face. And the fire the fire department version, that it also turns into some like dog thing. And I guess, I don't know, that was an easy mode that they can pull off with the base. Versus it, versus it have it turn into another robot. And I, I guess that's better. Um, when it, for turning it into a giant, like, armor piece. All right. Well, here he is. I don't think he looks that bad, actually, from the front. And now that he has this all decoed and adorned, I think it looks quite good. Back is still a little bit questionable, but it, it's growing on me. And I will say, I think it's kind of cool that they have incorporated all the parts of the buffalo. I can kind of get with that. Um, not bad, not bad. And that has, has a tremendous amount of gloss on it, by the way. Can you, you see that on the plastic and stuff? Uh, plastic feels very durable. I don't know what type of plastic it is, but yeah, it, it feels like a very durable toy. And so maybe that's what they mean um, when they say like ages three and up, that it will survive a three-year-old's uh, desecration, so to speak. Um, but why don't we turn him into the police station mode and the dog mode? I'm very curious to see them. I'm going to prep this guy. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. Um, I removed all the bits, and um, all right, let's put them together. So it says grab this and have it sit between the legs. And then it says close this all together. Um, okay, that looks kind of weird. And then it says bring this back. The instructions are done well, by the way. Oh, you hear that? The beautiful clickety-clack. Uh, but it says, oh, it says bring this all the way back. Huh. Okay. And it does compact very nicely. Everything, like, lines up very well with the leg and the back of the, um, the back of the leg and the back of the, um, torso. And then from here... I'm trying to figure out the orientation of what I'm looking at. It says bring the arms down. Dude, it kind of has this weird, like, gorilla look to it, you know? That's kind of cool, dude. It's kind of grown on me in terms of the other things that I could potentially do with this and utilizing 5 milli, but ah, more on that later. More on that later. It says flip these around. Um, no? Hmm. Oh, yeah, so it says bring these in, turn these around, and then bend these, bend this forward. Um, and it says bend the feet up as well. And then I guess the fists just kind of sit in there. All right, 
So we've turned it into a cube. Um, oh, I see. And then these plugged into, well, not necessarily plugged in, but there's an empty space in which those uh, s um, tabs basically can rest in. All right, we've done this. Then it says, take this part. And then it says, plug this in here. All right, and then it says, grab. Grab this part and plug that in there. <laughs> oh, I see. So I get it, but it relied on these extra panels basically to turn it into this, right? You can see the doors, you can see the little lights and um, yeah, I get it, but it did it did have to rely on these extra parts former bits, but whatever, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of parts forming. Like, whatever gets the job done, I'm all for it. And so we have that plugged in here. I don't know what Koban means, but maybe that means, like, some type of... Maybe it means police station. Um, but that's it, dude. That's it. <laughs> and uh, this is... <laughs> what's going on over here? Ooh, five millis. Nice, nice. And three millis. Nice. But yeah, dude, he just he's just chilling, dude. It's just this chunk and from the front. It's like, whoa, it's a police station. Then you walk around the back. You're like, what the heck? And like you'd be tripping out, dude. Uh, all right. Well, let's see if the dog mode is any better. Um, oh, and I guess one part that I forgot to configure is that. Um, Is that behind this you can attach the what is it you can store them the gestalt head uh, and I just forgot whatever so it says remove all this all this stuff oh arm just popped off nice okay from here it says bring down the legs and uh, I guess we're removing the dog head. And we're doing that. And we're straightening this. We're straightening this. And then we're bringing the feet down. I have this odd sense that I'm going to be horribly disappointed in this dog mode. <laughs> but whatever, dude. I mean, it's not, it's not like Magnus level disappointment. Yep, I'm throwing shade at Magnus again. It's not <laughs> Magnus levels of disappointment. <laughs> um, and then this just says fold down, then fold out the feet. Okay, cool. That tabbed or that, that like clicked. Nice. Um, <laughs> wait, what? And then from here, the dog head apparently plugs into these two ports. All right, this looks really bad, by the way. Worse than uh, the six-gun wolf or dog or whatever that thing is. Um, <laughs> it's pretty comical, though, to be honest. And this goes in here. That goes in there. And then it says the... The, what is it? The Gestalt head can store in here somewhere, but I'm not really going to bother with that. This, it says, will plug in back here. That it did. And then this plugs into the back of the dog. On the th thighs. Okay, so when you bring the knees up, they'll they'll um, they'll kind of brush up against the thigh. They'll li they'll align there basically, and this is the dog, and that is bad. That is bad, and they're saying that you can have the. Oh, okay, there are some interesting gimmicks. <laughs> I, I, I I'll say this: it's a cute set, it, and there's a lot of functionality behind it. Uh, it's 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 fun. It's fun. Will I buy more of these? No, I'm not going to buy more of these. But, um, 
So we have this guy. Then it says angle the legs down. And then he, yeah, he just plugs in. So you can have the little dude ride the police dog. Um, and uh, eh, nah, it still doesn't look good. It does remind me of Six Gun though. You know, the Six Gun Wolf dog thing. Um, and not Six Gun, uh, Six Shot rather, excuse me. I don't know if I said Six Gun earlier, but I meant to say Six Shot. All right. But it also says that this guy can ride it. Since we're here just for shots and goggles, let's, um, sure. I don't even remember how to configure this guy now. <laughs> like that, like that. I'll leave the hat on him. <laughs> Got to pull the feet out. Slide that in. Uh, the sliding mechanism is interesting. I wonder if it locks or no. That's that's as high as it will go. By the way, the paint and everything is done really well. The gloss and everything. Like even though it's a it's a kids toy. Like I mean I mean toys I guess for all, are all for kids. But the the quality is good in my opinion. There's a lot of like tension spring loaded stuff. Um, and I don't know if that reminds me of Tobot or something. But anyway. So in order to ride it, you got to put his legs out like so, and you got to bend them here, and then you bend the arms 90 degrees. All right, so it's like that, and then he just rides it. He doesn't lock, it doesn't lock in anywhere when that's just it. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me a second while I prepare to put this back into uh, robot mode, armor mode, because we're gonna try. Um, we're gonna try to get Prowl to sit on there. One second, all right. All right, cool. So now we're back, and um, we're gonna try to get our guy to fit in there. Uh, the legs. I've I've already fiddled, full disclosure. I've already fiddled with it a little bit, and so it's going to be more of more of just finessing versus discovery. But what I tried to do was I originally tried to incorporate like everything, like everything, and it just wouldn't work. And so I remembered that at certain points in times this waste bit had come loose before. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pop this off. So I did that. And much to my surprise, dude, look what I found out. You see that bit right there? I know you're like, dude, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. All right, I won't tell you. <laughs> but. So if you slide this back. I don't know if I had it slid back. I think I did. No, 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 no. I had it forward. But. What you can do is you can just get the torso, get the cup out of here, dude. And then you just push that up, have that lock into place, and lock it. And yeah, Prowl's torso just fits over that thing. And I'm like, wow, wow. But now there's all of this, right? There's all of that. And so I was like, all right, we got to figure something out. And so what I ended up doing was... I brought the, all right, this is kind of popping out right now. But what I did is I ended up bringing the arms down like this. And I did something with the, I did something with the hands. Um, where they were holding like these. Exactly how, I don't know. But we're going to fiddle and fuddle and figure that out right now. Because we just want to, we just want to create the illusion that it is fully cohesive, and so there's a couple of five millimeters that he can play with, but if that goes in there, can it make a convincing shield? Like, like I don't think. I think I did something different before. I, I I think it looked better when I when I had it done um, previously, but I 
for the life of me, the configuration is uh, kind of escaping me. Hold on for a second. You know, I don't know if it's if this is exactly how I had it before, but um, I'm just going to say that it is. I, to be honest, I don't really care <laughs> enough. Um, I can fiddle with it like later, but the coup de gras. The cherry on top. Maybe coup de gras is not the right word. I think coup de gras means like mercy blow or something like that. Like it's the mercy killing or something. Or sorry, I shouldn't say that word. Um, but yeah, I think that's the wrong word. But the cherry on top, the piece de resistance. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Um, there we go. Yeah, I think he looks tight, dude. I think he looks tight. Despite this looking all bulky over here and you can see all these gaps. He's cool. He's cool. And I had fun doing it. That was, that's like that's like the main thing. I enjoyed my time messing around to try to get this piece to work. And, uh, you know, from here, sure. You know what? Why don't we just give him all of the accessories. We'll give him the little thingamabob. We'll give him the other thingamabob. Um... On this side, we will uh, give him the little dog head on the shield. And that is super armored, job braver, Koban prowl. <laughs> That's not too bad, dude. It's not too bad. Yeah. It was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. I don't think I will buy more of these, but uh, yeah, who knows, dude. We'll see what the red one's like and if I can do something with that and some of the other red figures. But uh, man, this has been a long one, so I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to y'all very soon, all right? Have a nice day. Bye.